Scientists believe that tachyons, a controversial hypothetical particle, might travel faster than light. Can we embark on adventures not limited by time or distance if we discover tachyons? Unfortunately, the physical laws still need to be ready to support travel faster than the speed of light, despite our best efforts. But what would happen if we discovered something outside the current physics model? Getting from one planet to another would take a high level of problem-solving inventiveness and a willingness to ignore physical laws. Another way to travel faster than light is with a starship that uses superluminal propulsion technology. Warp drive was coined to describe this revolutionary technology. It's not as far-fetched as it may appear. Science fiction has dealt with this idea extensively. Since Captain Kirk fired up the Starship Enterprise's warp drive in 1967, people have fantasized about traveling at light speed across space. The concept of a faster-than-light warp drive was purely theoretical until Mexican mathematician Miguel Alcubierre proposed a plausible path to its production in 1994. Multiple scientists, engineers, and inventors have spent the past several decades working on developing a reliable warp drive. While still a student, Gregory Mahalik was interested enough in the RAND Corporation to study a published pamphlet. Mahalik has been with the Aerospace Corporation for quite some time and is now a senior project leader. In many works of science fiction, tachyons travel at speeds higher than the speed of light. One of science fiction's merits is that it may surprise its audience by ignoring commonly held scientific beliefs. Incredibly, the Enterprise can travel across space at the speed of light, while Flash can run at the speed of light while just wearing a pair of yellow boots. To avoid the laws of causality, the protagonist often uses either a time machine from the 1930s or a teleporter from the 1980s. Imagining what would happen if even a single fundamental particle had these features is thrilling. There's no way to outpace the Flash, not even in a TARDIS, a DeLorean, or a pair of yellow shoes. A new interesting particle, the tachyon, is predicted to exist under Einstein's special theory of relativity. The common belief is that we cannot travel faster than the speed of light because the infinite mass of the cosmos forbids us. There's a better response out there, but this one holds its own. It has been shown that space and time are intrinsically related, hence the term space-time. In addition, the speed of light is the ultimate limit to all motion in space-time. Even a stationary object travels through time at the same rate as everything else. Albert Einstein's contribution to our understanding of the fundamentals of physics have led to his being recognized as one of the greatest scientists in history. His research is exciting, but it has one horrible effect, especially for science fiction aficionados who dream of traveling to other planets and stars. He was essential in our discovery that the speed of light is the upper limit on the visible universe meaning it would take almost a decade to reach the nearest star, even if you could move at the speed of light. Still, it's unclear how this mechanism operates. Science fans may or may not have the full or correct understanding of why it's impossible to travel faster than light. The standard reasoning goes like this. To put a cap on maximum speed in the first place is irrational and counterintuitive. If you're already going fast and you put your foot down, you'll speed up even faster. There is a maximum speed limit for your car, but we are accustomed to hearing about and seeing things that move far more quickly than that, such as jet fighters and gunshots. Acceleration can only be counted on for a while if it's too rapid. No matter how hard you try, you can't go faster than 186,000 miles per second. The cosmic speed limit could be explained by the fact that mass increases with increasing velocity. There is some logic to this counterattack. Always keep in mind that a mountain needs far more effort to move than a pebble. If the mass of objects grows infinitely as their velocity approaches the speed of light, then it follows that no object can travel faster than the speed of light. Obviously, that's not the best answer, or the only one. The NASA warp drive is nearly ready for takeoff. NASA's scientists and engineers might construct a warp drive to enable the space agency to travel at a far quicker rate across space, potentially opening up the agency's horizon to the discovery of new planets and star systems. Warp drive may now just be a concept in science fiction, but it has the potential to become an actual mode of transportation in the not-too-distant future. NASA is shown in The Upside 
as actively researching and developing warp drive in an effort to one day put it into use. Again, they shouldn't feel too alone in their optimism. Many scientists are also looking into ways to make the impossible attainable. It will, however, be necessary to surmount substantial challenges. Einstein's theory of relativity is invalidated by anything faster than light. Dr. Harold Sonny White, a NASA engineer, is working tirelessly to develop a warp-like propulsion by exploring the limits of physics. Miguel Acubere, a theoretical physicist, proposed in 1994 that by creating a bubble in space-time one could twist distances, reducing them, and allowing mass to be transported at the speed of light without requiring vast amounts of energy. A football-shaped spaceship with a ring-shaped warp engine as proposed by Dr. White may be able to travel at the speed of light, elaborating on a notion first proposed by Alcubierre. A change in the ring's size or shape may provide enough thrust to launch a spacecraft. Though interesting, the concept isn't totally original. In Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan Kenobi's ship also employed a ring-shaped warp engine to go to another planet. Elon Musk is attempting to make the concept a reality, while NASA is still conducting theoretical research. Elon Musk, founder of SpaceX, has said publicly that he intends to launch a manned expedition to Mars this decade and has advocated for the use of warp drive to accomplish this. Consistent with Einstein's theory that higher velocities result in bigger masses, there isn't enough readily available energy to swiftly move anything of that size or density. This is why scientists are so interested in Alcubierre's warp engine and the space bubble concept that underlies it. Forget about propulsion for a moment and consider Einstein's theory that mass can be moved by bending time and space without requiring any energy at all. Dr. White is leading a NASA team of physicists and engineers in constructing the White Jude Warp Field Interferometer in the hopes of developing a warp drive in the future. Theoretically, faster-than-light travel might be possible with this method since it could create a small warp bubble. According to Bobrick, none of the physically feasible warp engines can accelerate to velocities faster than light. It's impossible to do so since it requires particles that travel faster than light, and we don't know of any. Warp speed, as used in science fiction, often means faster than the speed of light. Light speed, however, does not always refer to traveling at the speed of light in science fiction, although a shorthand for faster than light speed. Shortcuts in space-time, sometimes known as wormholes, are a common plot device in science fiction. Even though they have never been seen, Einstein's theory of relativity suggests they may be real. But if everything works out, it might completely alter the face of space travel. Curiously, momentum in the study is building, and just the time when warp technology was supposed to be invented in Star Trek fiction. According to canon Star Trek, Dr. Zephram Cochrane invented the first warp-capable vessel in the year 2063. After watching his test voyage at warp speed, the Vulcans learned that humans are capable of interstellar travel. When the first Star Trek crew wanted to establish first contact with the Cochrane, they came to Earth. After all, the warp flight scene in Star Trek First Contact is not just science fiction. Where would you go if you could travel at the speed of light? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.